In the last video you would have watched, we talked about completing the square. But those completing the square problems only had uh, the basic trinomial. They didn't have a slip and slide style trinomial. So now what we want to do is we want to talk about what happens if our trinomial is that slip and slide type. Well, we can still have some completing the square options. So let's take a look here at our first example that we have. We've got 4x squared plus 8x minus 5. Notice that there's no greatest common factor that I can take out of either of those. And if I were to try and slip and slide this, uh, it would be possible to get my factors. However, in order to uh, solve this one, um, there's actually a, an easier way that we could do it. So let's talk about completing the square when a is greater than 1. So the first thing we want to do is just like those last problems, we're going to rewrite it with the last term on the other side of the equation. So this minus 5, I want to get to this other side, so I'm going to add 5 to both sides. Now we've got 4x squared plus 8x equals 5. So that was step 1. Step 2 says that we're going to divide the equation by whatever our a is. So every number gets divided by 4. So our new equation is x squared plus 8 divided by 2 is 2x, and that equals 5 over 4. I can't simplify that, so it's just going to stay as 5 over 4. Now this is where our problem stays the same as the last completing the square. We're going to take half of our middle term, so this 2. I'm going to take half of that, so 2 divided by 2 and then square it, well that's 1 squared, which is just 1. So we're going to add 1 to both sides of our equation. And so our equation would now say x squared plus 2x plus 1. And in order to be able to add 1 to 5 over 4, let me help you remember how to add fractions. So anything divided by itself is 1 and I can only add things of the same denominator. So in this case, I have 4 as my denominator, so I want to write 4 over 4 and add the tops, that numerator. So 5 plus 4 would give me 9 over 4. Now what we're going to do is we're going to factor this perfect square trinomial. Well, we have x squared plus 2x plus 1. The only way to multiply and get 1, add to get 2, uh, is if both my factors are 1. So this perfect square trinomial is x plus 1 squared equals 9 over 4. Okay, so that was step 4. And step 5 is to take the square root and solve for both the positive and negative case. So we'll take the square root of both sides. We have x plus 1 equals square root of 9 is 3, square root of 4 is 2, and that's a plus or minus. So uh, we want to set up our two options. Either I have x plus 1 equals 3 over 2, or I have x plus 1 equals negative 3 over 2. So if I want x to be by itself, I want to get rid of this 1. I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. Subtract 1 from both sides. And instead of thinking of this as minus 1, I want to think of it as the fraction of the same denominator. So I would have 2 over 2. 3 minus 2 would give me 1, and that's over 2. And same thing over here, 2 over 2. But negative 3 minus 2 would give me negative 5 over 2. So kind of the same steps. Um, I want to go through one more example, though, uh, showing you um, how it would work maybe using that slip and slide method instead. So let's take a look at, um, yeah, let's do uh, number three here. So if we were to try and do this, we have uh, 5x squared plus 10x minus 34, but I want all my numbers on this side now. So I'll do minus 6 to both sides. So this is now minus 40 equals 0. 
So I would want to try and take 5 times 40 to slip and slide. So I would now have x squared plus 10x. And that would be minus 200. And that's still equal to 0. So now what we would have to do is we'd have to find the factors of 200 that add up to give me 10. So multiply for a negative 200 and add to a positive 10. So that's 1 and 200, 2 and 100, um, 3, no, not 3, 4 and 50, 5 and 40, Mm, 8 and 25, 10 and 20. Now hopefully you realize that you don't have to go any farther than this because 10 and 20 would be the two options that we would want. And if it's a positive 10, when I add them, my two factors should be negative 10 and positive 20. So I would have um, x minus 10 times x plus 20 and that's still equal to zero. And since I slip and slide at this point, I would divide both of my factors by five and get that x minus, um, that would be two, and x plus four. Setting both of these equal to zero to get my solutions. I have x equals positive two and x equals negative four. Okay, however, this obviously was a, a little bit of a different steps to get there. So know that with these problems, there are multiple ways to do them. And it really just depends on uh, how you prefer to do your work. If you really like the slip and slide method and you would prefer to use that, you sure can. Um, since we are getting to the point where we just want our solutions, the steps don't really matter of how we get there because either way that we go, uh, we'll be able to get to our solution types. So with that, uh, let's give a couple of problems a try. Um, let's see, we've got some irrational. So let's actually try, uh, do one irrational one. And I want you to do two either uh, from five and six here, or we've got one through four on the front side. So um, do one that's one through six, and then do one that's that uh, seven through 10 on the back side here. Remember that once you've finished watching the video, uh, you'll come back, check in, and I will uh, sign you off for the day.